Hi everybody, we're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro. People often ask me how I'm able to screen record the sound coming out of Cubase. It's a common question because if you fire up a screen recorder and you start playing music in Cubase, the screen recorder won't recognize it because of how Cubase handles ASIO drivers. So today I'm gonna to show you two techniques for recording the sound coming out of Cubase. Let's get into it. So the first technique I want to show you is a hardware solution and it will require you to have two interfaces. I like to call it the two interface solution. So if we take a look at my audio connection tab, I have a QSend setup with two outputs, extra outputs from my interface. This is my monitors. These outputs are going to the monitors. These are actually physical wires, outputs three and four. And if we look at where Q2 is, it's on my master bus here. Uh, and it's a post fader Q send on my stereo out. Oh, that, let me uh, kill my camera so you can see this. So here's the Q send, and I can monitor it in control room, and it's basically identical to my stereo out. Why do I use a Q send and not uh, just set up a separate set of monitors? Well, because when I live stream on twitch.tv slash talkingleafmedia, I like to compose, but not make the viewer listen to my metronome. So if you do it as a cue send, you basically get all the benefits of having a second monitoring solution, which is set up, but without the metronome. Now, if you wanted it to be a second monitoring solution, you would just have to set up a monitor too in your, uh, you know, add monitor here in your audio connections and outputs three and four or whatever outputs you're using to run to your second device. Uh, will be the second monitor, and you'll just have to switch monitoring here in the control panel. And just to show you exactly what we're dealing with, there's basically just uh, an output, two cables coming out of my interface, and it's going into this Zoom H5. And I have the Zoom H5 set up as a stereo interface. And the benefits of this is that everything that I can uh, hear in my headphones is uh, what's going to be on the video. And let's talk about setting up your screen recorder. So I'll bring my screen recorder in. Uh, you can see here H5V2 is my sound source. Now I can get a doubling of the sound source because it'll accept an input device from your microphone. This is the microphone coming through OBS and coming through Cubase into OBS. And there will be a little bit of latency, so I'm doing this just so you can tell what the latency is. And then also you can have desktop audio if you play a Spotify file. So you have uh, pretty good control over all the audio sources you'd want. All I had to do was you know, add uh, audio input capture and it'll see the available uh, voice meter, mic aux, H5, and then, then I have a second H5 because I have two configurations of it. But uh, that's the hardware solution. And when I tell people that this is the solution that I'm currently using, I'm basically uh, plugging cables into a separate interface and then using that interface to run OBS, they say, but I don't have a second interface. And that's okay because there actually is a software solution. You won't be able to stream live, but you'll be able to create videos with Cubase with this software solution. And I think if you saw here actually in my audio sources, uh, add audio input capture, I did have voice meter. I've done a video where I say voice meter is a way to do this just purely software, but I never liked voice meter because it always gave me latency issues and performance issues, and I had to change the driver in Cubase and on my Windows system, which was a pain in the buns. So this solution does not require you to change your audio system. You can work with the exact same system you have, and you'll be able to uh, record the audio out of Cubase and then sync it up after the fact um, if you're screen recording with OBS. So the solution that I'm referring to is M Recorder. M Recorder is a plugin that records whatever's coming out of your DAW directly to your hard drive. So you can see the power of this. What we're going to do is just have it record, do our little video, and then when we uh, get into post production, we'll just sync up our microphone track in OBS with what's coming out of the DAW. Uh, that's how it works. So you'll have to get it with this M free FX bundle and then they give you a bunch of plugins to install. You can choose this, you can choose their other 
uh, plugins, but this is the one we're working with, mRecorder, and that's meldaproduction.com slash mRecorder. It's a great utility if you want to be able to record uh, Cubase. So I've uh, downloaded it, I installed it, and I've installed that post fader on my stereo out bus uh, right here. And oh, let me kill my video again because I'm in the way again. Okay, so here's M Recorder. Now I open it up and we see the interface. Uh, and I have it all set up. Uh, you have to put in your file path, but I did this beforehand because I wanted to make sure that it worked. And it's all set up to go. Uh, but what I'm going to do is restart this video so that I can uh, have a shorter version to show you how to sync it up in post in your, uh, in your video editing software. So I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hi everyone, I'm back. As you can see, I've killed, I've killed the H5 V2 input. So I'm only recording through my mic. Uh, but once I start the recorder, you should be able to hear Cubase. You won't be able to hear any instruments or anything, but let's go into Cubase and start the recorder. Now you typically want to have in Cubase a talkback channel that you're monitoring so you can sync sound. Uh, with the microphone just in OBS. So if we bring back OBS, we'll do a quick sync sound. Okay, and I can come in here and play instruments in real time. Uh, obviously, you're hearing my voice through Cubase. I could play instrument, uh, you know, other sources in real time. And you'll be able to hear it all once we sync it up in post, which I'm going to stop the recording and we'll do next. Okay, so one interesting thing about the M Recorder plugin is that you can just drag and drop uh, the file you just recorded into your DAW with this little uh, arrow here. So we'll just dump it down right to its own track. And then I'll go and grab the video I just recorded in OBS. Um, put that on its own track. Oh. All right, and then we need to sync the sound. So what we'll do to sync the sound is we'll move the audio file up here. We'll make these bigger. And we'll find the claps. There's the claps on this one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, there's the claps. So you should probably clap before you start flapping your gums, but uh, it is what it is. So we could come in here and align the claps. Excellent. So M recorder test and M recorder test video, now they're aligned. Now if I mute the original audio from the video, we'll see that it works. And let me see, is it F5 to pull up the video? No. I, oh, I can never remember. Window. Video player, F8. So now we'll play this. Uh, we'll set the cursor here. Okay, and I can come in here and play instruments in real time. Uh, obviously, you're hearing my voice through Cubase. I could play instrument. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, this is what you would get in OBS. Would be this. You know, other sources in real time. But when you use M Recorder, which is this, it sounds like this. it's processing the uh, outputs through Cubase. So that's exactly how the sync uh, process works. You might do this in your video editor, that's how I do it, but I just wanted to show you that syncing up is a matter of simply syncing sound, and then uh, what you recorded out of M Recorder will be what you hear in your video. So these are the two ways that I know of, the be two best ways to record the audio out of Cubase into a screen recorder. Either you can use a program like M Recorder, uh, available at meldaproductions.com, 
or you can use a two interface method. And I use the two interface method because it's better for streaming in real time and there's not the extra step of syncing audio. But as I showed you, syncing up audio isn't really that big of a deal. So if you ever wanted to start making two Cubase tutorials of your own, you can have at it with M Recorder and you won't need any extra hardware. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.